Here are the top six graphite exposed companies on the ASX this week. We're looking at monthly performances that are shooting the lights out. We're seeing performances come from 16% all the way up to 91% over the last month. We're going to dive in and have a look at these top six. First, we're going to have a look at the names that everyone knows and loves when looking at graphite and see how they haven't performed. Starting off with MBX, that chart is on the right-hand side. You can see they've only put on 7% down here on the left-hand side, 7% over the last month. The other names that everyone likes to look at is BKT. We'll bring that chart up. BKT been trawling, still pushing higher, but not breaking out the same way. RNU, Renaschool Resources, who loves that on the graphite side of things, has still been moving higher, but still below the recent highs that we saw in April and the ones when we saw it shoot up in February. So they're not there. We've also got Magnus Energy Tech 1, Eurograph and First Graphene, they're down for the month. So that's why they're not making the list. Now we move over to the top six list and we see one, two, three, four, five, six, iTech minerals, 34% over the month. We've listed the other ones because these are some favorites that people like to group in with graphene, graphite and the like. But iTech is number six. ITM, we're going to bring the chart on the right hand side. You can see it's a recent listing IPO back in October 2021. Came down, made another break, cut out the lows, got on 20 cents, and then turned around, shot the lights out, and ran up to 57 cents. Has maintained the volatility, and in the last couple of days' trading sessions, we can see it touched 39, come back up, where it's trading right now, close to 57 cents. That's ITM. Next one, GW1. Let's put that on screen for you so you get the chart from context. We see the adjustment here in the share price and then we do see that in the volume as well that's an absolute standout for changes occurring 21 cents back in july 2021 coming up to highs of 51 cents recently but more recently 51 getting over it and then quickly coming back down in a matter of six weeks or so back under 27 cents and turning back to over 51 highly volatile gw1 they are definitely moving a lot Next, we do see SYA. This is a name that we do see a lot, have surfaced many times and has a strong following. This is the VCP pattern that we're talking about. We see it's really exposed to the lithium. If you want to understand more of the lithium thematic, you can click on screen or description below to understand how and when they broke out. But this is a VCP that we cover in detail, running into a high and tight flag. So that is SYA. We're going to jump over that. There are other videos that cover it in more detail. XTC becomes the next one. XTC, we've got a third place, 80% over the month. We're coming from lows of 0.6% up to 1.6 cents. Big movements, that's a high and tight flag, but it does a huge volume in comparison to the how it's traded in the last year. But that is a low liquidity company. The values here, we're not seeing that's too high. That's XTC. Next one is Metals Australia, MLS. I'm going to put that chart up for you so you can see. MLS coming out from 6, getting up to 18 cents. Seen this thing sort of triple in price in the last two months. And it does make you wonder, okay, well, what exposures are some of these graphene exposed related companies? What are they doing right that the other ones that we looked at to start off with and not keeping pace with? Finally, first place is on 91% gain for the month. We're looking at Vault Resources, VRC. Let's put them at number one. With that movement coming from 12 cents, today they're trading over 3 cents, just under it at the moment. But that's how they're moving. They're back to the, these levels they were in December and January. So they've dipped down, turned around, and climbed with more volume than it looks like what they fell with or consolidated with. So it's great to see from VRC. That's us having a quick look at the graphene, graphite related companies on ASX and how they're leading. You can click subscribe for more updates. Comment below to let us know the graphene and graphite companies that you're trading. And like the video to support the channel.